I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet, five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions and seven times today I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit, and mind you, this is a mom, clearly she didn't want to fucking sit right there, so I mean, if she telling you she don't want to do something, why keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. What world do we live in? Like, what in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing, it's not that serious and y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music and they are asking me can we hear about Sorry, she was. She bit the motherfucking lobster tail and sucked out the meat, nigga. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Welcome to a couple of blurts. Um. Hello, hello. <laughs> Technically, it's Thanksgiving. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving. By the time we post this, it might be motherfucking Christmas. It might be, yeah. Because <laughs> my baby is working six days a week. Yeah, for now. He's working so hard. I yeah, appreciate it. It's good. Um, got got the little transfer or whatever in there too, so I'll be working in a different spot soon. And you got a, a second certification certificate. Yeah, you've been getting it in, babe. I'm so proud of you. We'll see what happens in the year. See if all this even does anything. But anyway, we we just talking. We just chilling today. Um, it's like I feel like this is the first day both of us have had to sit down this whole week because you've been working. And I've been hitting five o'clock, five thirty dialysis and doctor's appointments and scans and shit. It's yep. yep. And of course now the car need another oil change and all that Bro, shit. Bro, the crazy shit is it's like even when I was driving my Ford Focus like to Kansas and shit, I wasn't like, even getting oil change this much. Yeah, I don't remember all this shit happening too much. I don't I don't know if it's just like god damn, that three thousand to five thousand you breathe on the mic. Uh I'm sorry. Is, is like burning through hella fast the thing is even when i used to, like the crazy thing is when i had my four focus i went a year without i get no oil change right? yeah like i remember and taking I like went, six months and they went and they were like oh your oil's still good we just want to change the filter i was like yeah just change the filter i'm leaving shit i don't know it's just i think plus i, got, I think people got me confu- uh paranoid about like yeah because is, is they said that the kia burns the oil too so it's like i don't want that shit to lock up so 
Right. So, but once a month is crazy, man. It's just ah, damn. It, right. <gasps> it has a period. It's just fucking. Knew it was a girl. It's like the it's like the moment it knows I got a, a pretty decent check coming. He's like, oh, well, you got eight hundred miles left. No, like fuck, that's like a day and a half. Well, I thought I, like if my show hadn't got canceled for tomorrow, I'd have at least been like, hey, let me check in, because I was gonna pull up the other day Walmart and like, oh, let me see how much mm-hmm. it was already a buku ass people there. Yeah, that's that's the, it's the timing too. So. And then my kid Ryan got canceled back, so I'm like, well, shit. Yeah. So I'm probably get it like Monday or whatever, but um, yeah, we we ate we ate th- we cooked and ate that shit by nine o'clock. Look, oh, we can just start doing our own oil changes. Huh, man. I ain't sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing. Look, I'm too damn broke to be exper- playing like that. Experimenting and shit. It's not hard. I learned how to do it on be on, YouTube. Be underneath the damn, damn car with a YouTube video and shit. I mean, bro. yeah. I mean, that's how I learned how to change out my power stuff. Like, like I know it's easy. I know it's very easy, but it's just uh, it's a pain in the ass. I'd rather blame, if you don't have a jack, it's I'd rather blame do. somebody else if it breaks. You're like you know. <laughs> but no. So one thing about me, because last year we it was our first Thanksgiving together. Yeah. And I said we was eating by like twelve or one. No. We was eating. My yeah. fucking twelve. I don't do that. Oh, yeah, let's eat at five o'clock. Let's yeah. eat tomorrow. I don't like that yeah. shit. Like my sister and them, they said they ain't cooking it till tomorrow to wait for everybody to get here. Yeah, I ain't doing all that. Yeah, that's my phone. Um, what we all we so all we did was cooked and we went to sleep early. I didn't even go to sleep when I got off work. I cooked everything. Well, not you know what I mean. And I told you to wake me up when you did the turkey. Then I wake up, you like, hey, it's in there. I was like, well, damn. Because I was already up there. I was up and I fucking seasoned. I, I tried to like do a different technique where I like break the back and like split it. So yeah, it'd be it's, flat. but that but that turkey was big. Yeah, that and motherfucker a bitch. was huge. This motherfucker strong back ass. Because what's like, crazy is like when they put it in the car first, I thought they put a small because they were giving away turkeys um, at dialysis. They're like, hey, go get a turkey. Right. And I was like, okay, why not? Because them motherfuckers in the store, the size of the one we got, them shits was running like $75. Mm, hell no. Nah. That's never, it's not even worth $75. It's not, it's real. about a pounds or whatever. Yeah. But so like when I went and got it, I thought they just put a little one in there. Shit, I got nah. my own. That bitch was the size of motherfucking puff. I was like, oh no. Took about four days to dethaw and it still wasn't. I think that's part of the reason why I couldn't break the bone because it was frozen. Because when I reached in there and I pulled out the damn neck and that bitch was covered and it was just chunks of ice coming out, I was like, bro, yeah. this shit had been in the freezer, refrigerator since Saturday. Yeah. And, I, and I thought you took everything out, but when I was trying to break the bag, I found a, a bag in there and I found a liver. And all that. Okay, it must have been froze to it. Because no, cause I pulled, I reached my hand in there, yeah. I pulled out the neck, I pulled out a chunk of gizzards and I was just pulling out chunks of fuck. You saw that big ass chunk yeah. of ice? I pulled out like three or four chunks of fucking ice. Hey. And it must have been froze to it because right. like I didn't like I ran water through it and everything. I was like, damn. But hey, got to put it in there pretty easy. Uh, stayed up until it got done to eat because I knew because I knew if I go to sleep and yeah, get you, done you eat and then I'm gonna go right back, right back to sleep. sleep. After I eat, fucking pass right back out. Ruin my, my mama day. woke me up at six o'clock in the morning. That's a, that's yeah. the only reason I knew you were here because I was like, damn, I told him to wake me up to do the turkey. He's like, it's already in there, and then I was like, well, let me just stay up for a little while and. Right. No, because I got out super early. I got out at like 3 in the morning. So. I know, because you text me like, what you need from the stove? I was like, butter. Yeah, motherfuckers. Did Oops. I run into something weird at the store? No, not this time. I think it was my turn last time. Yeah. Because I went to Winco. Like, uh, okay, so Sunday, I dropped my daughter off in East Texas. Mm. I took, an, well, I left like, what, 8 o'clock. Got there like close to like twelve forty five ish because we had to keep stopping and this one exit that I usually take they moved the exit like it was gone <laughs> it, they took the whole exit off and I had to drive down the road come back and go on the underpass I was like there's right. no fucking road right so um I got to East Texas I took a nap then I drove to Shreveport killed it had like one of the greatest sets I've had all year had like three laugh breaks shit was great. Then I drove back to Fort Worth, made it at 11 o'clock. Because I stopped at Bucky's for like, it wasn't even a whole 20 minutes. But my GPS is like, hey, bitch, 20 more minutes. And I'm like, bitch, I wasn't even in there that long. Oh, I almost hit a fucking Lexus because they decided instead of, there's a big ass sign that says lane closed. Instead of her just pulling in, she going to try to cut in front of me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bitch, I will fucking kill you that's right i flipped that bitch off i don't give a shit, fuck that wasn't, she wasn't do shit yeah i had, had the same situation but go ahead so then i finally got 
to town. I got like down the street and I said, let me just go ahead and go to the store and grab the stuff I need for Thanksgiving while there's nobody in there. Cause luckily at 11 o'clock, nobody was in there. Right. But, um, there was this, this older Hispanic lady with a cart and it was a younger Hispanic lady. She had a toddler in the big part of the cart where they not supposed to be. Because if you look on the seat, it said you don't let your fucking kids stand in the cart. Mm-hmm. And she had a baby in her basket too. The kid was crying. She's like, "Oh, nobody wants to hear you cry." Da, da, da. First of all, bitch, it's eleven. These kids probably sleepy. Why didn't one of y'all stay at the house with the kids? Right. So I grab my water. I'm walking. All I heard is boom. Two kids immediately start crying. I turn around. I say, "Hey, do you need help?" The grandma holding the baby. I don't know. If she snatched the baby during the fall, but the toddler's laying on the floor screaming, and one lone onion is just rolling across the floor. And I was like, "You need help?" Oh no, nah, no. Nah. This is an onion. I was like, "Yo, baby, bitch." Right. This little girl screamed and cried. The baby stopped crying, but the toddler screamed and cried the whole time I was in. I just left. I was just. I don't. Even, I didn't even get everything I needed. I just got my shit and left because the kid was screaming. And I could hear it mm-hmm. across the phone. Like you might want to take your daughter to the fucking urgent ER. care or some shit. <laughs> Think you broke something? <sighs> that wasn't an onion. That was a piece of his brain. Because even like when Moo was that age, even if I would have got up and took her to the store at eleven, she would have just been sitting in the cart looking. Right. Just looking. Because when I used to walk to work, like, to catch the bus at 4 o'clock in the morning, I used to just be sitting in the stroller looking. Like, right. it's dark. Just in the dark, like, Batman or some shit. Hey. But no, that lady who cut me off, I, I cut her ass off and I flipped off. And I'm like, bitch, I wish you would do something. <laughs> you fucking cunt. Like, you saw that shit. You saw yeah. all of us getting in this one line, you dumb bitch. Like, because all these people coming from out of town, But too. just to be stuck, though. Yeah. Because I was going to throw my damn Dr. Pepper out the window of the ass, but I realized it was Dr. Pepper. Did I tell you about the second Uber ride? With a sexy red? No. Well, yeah, that too. But that wasn't really the biggest no, thing. No, you didn't tell me. It was, it was a second guy with no stocks, no no shocks in his car. And he had like a fucking, like a Tokyo Drift ass car. Oh, no. So I'm like, we loading and ground. We already, he like stick shift and he going fast as fuck. Oh, and no. and hitting every fucking bump, I can feel it in my ass. It's just like, <laughs> God damn, dude. And he, he, the whole t- the whole ride would have been fine, except that, and he didn't talk all the way up until you know, like uh, you it's know, a few blocks, my, yeah. a few blocks before we get to to Your the job. to the job. Uh, Bucks, he gets excited and shit. He's like, so he makes a dumbass joke the whole time, quiet as fe- quiet as hell. And then he turns around, he's like. Uh, you manager at Bucks? You a man- you manager at Bucks? I was like, huh? I was like, huh? No, no, man, no, no. Nigga, he, like, thought, he thought you worked the strip club. Thought he was yeah. gonna get a discount or something. No, shit. he like he was like, I I kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love going there. I love going there. They take care of you. I'm like, I bet they do. It's and a he, strip club. And he <laughs> went on this fucking like, like just excited rant about this shit for like five minutes, all the way up until it dropped me off about Bucks. First of all, Bucks don't even sound where black people go. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I don't. That's cool. You should probably use your stripper money buying some goddamn stocks. Shocks. God yeah. damn, bro. I saw where you posted that he was listening to Sexy Red and it, it sounded like an instrumental. Uh, yeah, it, no, it wasn't him. Yeah, it was him. Uh, I think he was just trying to be, I don't know. Talking about all the words was blank. Yeah, something. it was just like, put me in, put it, because the words is like, put it in my gut to your nut. And it's something like the shit like that, right? So it was just, just a censored version. It's like, put it, yet, yet, yeah, what? Like, all right. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Like, this bitch don't know the lyrics. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Well, what's the fucking point of doing this? Show? At least at least with some of the other songs, like, they just show she ain't got good writing at all because you can still uh, write, like, explicit stuff if you use the, use the right words. But she obviously just talking about nothing and dick and all that shit. You're just saying all that shit. So, I don't know. I was listening to some female rapper the other day, and it sounded pretty good. Then she started talking about her. I'm like, bro, please stop being stereotypical. It's just, hey, whatever. Like, I love Megan Stallion. This pussy sad. Like, why the pussy got to be sad? I don't mm. think it's your pussy. I think it's your brain, baby. I think it's the whole. I don't think that's how depression works. Right. My pussy ain't. Let me tell you something. No matter how sad I been, this pussy ain't never been sad. Okay? Mm. That bitch like, hey, but, feed me, and I'm happy. I'm like, okay, bitch. Uh, but, before, but I guess we slowly get into what the topic we wanted to talk about. And since we were talking about sexy red, right? I saw. I don't know if you on Twitter. I I'll try to find. I share the the link and put it in the description. This is all you, over if you, TikTok. If you want to watch it, uh, it's the video of sexy red. It's one of her newer songs, and it's her. She's she's been pregnant, right? And she's dancing, talking about free my nigga, and she's like dancing in a prison with a bunch of dudes in the back, 
in prison outfits. Like, free my niggas or whatever. I miss or whatever. You've been bullshit. locked up too long. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Which you ain't got to be hood to do that. Because if you think about Erica Badu, she did a whole song about this shit without being ratchet. Right. Me and, and it's my just. Baby. So now everybody is like, all of a sudden, it's like, damn, the, the see y'all won. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like they imported the drugs from back in the day. They they imported her. To oh, like, industry plan to like a. to like keep us down to keep us keep this image of us through her. Cause I don't know if it's that I'm getting older. Like me, I liked raunchy ass music like when I was younger, but I never was just like it. Mm-mm. You know, if if it came off different back in the day, cause I listened to like some Three Six Mafia songs, shit like that. Like yeah, it was raunchy and all this shit. It's just like I don't know. It just hit. It was different. It wasn't like. It's getting more and more blatant with each generation. What they saying, Uchi put or what he say, hit her in a booty at where she do the at. Like that's not even as bad. Put it in my ass, choke me, nigga, fuck my ass. Like damn, bitch. I don't know. It's just a slight bit of creativity, at least. Like, at least, at least try to. But hey, whatever. Speaking of sexy red and uh, the children. Yeah. Uh, apparently, a bunch of kids like five-year-olds twerking to her at school well, no, i'm gonna say this so the video i saw before the one we gonna discuss this teacher was at school she was asking her kindergarten they were like kindergarten or, or pre-k or kindergarten they're like between four and older than six it'll be what their it, favorite songs were and the little girl was like pound town she was yeah. trying to sing the words but she had to edit it right because i could tell she wanted to say my pussy pink my booty hole brown she's like pound town pass and then other ski and it's just like a whole bunch of kids trying to sing this shit and she was like ma'am right. they're like this shit is not cute i'm like it sure the fuck ain't cute this is another reason i want to have a child because imagine us having a kid and that, then our kid having to date these motherfuckers n- no, no it's, it's not even it's like how do you parent the kids oh, nowadays our kids will have to go to school with these motherfuckers. yeah they, so they like homeschooled yeah it's like how do you how do you do that and have them not be influenced by what's going on it's around hard them. like because cause it's really is re- don't most most of the reason why most of the stuff is popular because it's easy to just go ahead just like this because everybody else so-called likes it because think so about like, think about even with like moo when moo don't have her phone she is a whole different kid yeah than she is when she have access to it it's like I don't know. I'm going to say it like this. Like I was raised like I had friends in school who did drugs and did all this shit, but I wasn't doing it because I knew better. And then I didn't want to die because low key, my mama got violent tendencies. Um, but it's just like these kids now, they don't give a fuck. And it's getting like it's not even like a, it's not even like a, a, a old generation looking down at a younger and be like, y'all just don't. Y'all just wouldn't know. It's like they. It's out there. And it's, they're trying to blame it. Just, oh, millennials can't parent. First of all, bitch, I'm an elder millennial. And I know how to fucking parent. I just don't feel like busting my kid upside the head every time they do something fucking wrong. It's not, it doesn't have to be that. Because they talking about, oh, y'all gentle parenting is going wrong. I was like, look, it's not even a gentle, you don't have to be, it's it's not gentle parenting. It's, it's, just, it's a neglectful parenting. Yeah, it's, it's lack of parenting at all. That's that's what it is. It's like you just not there at all. You just you just made you made. Or they the just want to be friends. Oh, it's so cute when she's right. work. Look at her. Right. Look at her and her <laughs> little crop top and her two piece. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people that was like defending the 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 sexy red, sexy red video is like. They just having fun. It's like you uh-huh. can. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but uh, of course since since, since since it's the holidays, you know everybody bring their loud ass cousins. Which is crazy. Why do you? Why are do they fight? No, they're just talking loud. I saw the people building at dark. They, that's dark. what's that's what's crazy. It's like, why do you not? You know which other people live here. No, it's not that. It's like you invite the worst people all the time. You know who is the loudest, and it's like that. Why is those people always getting invited? No, they probably just always the ones that's fucking showing up. <laughs> like that's a shame. They do this shit every time. But I, I will give it this. This is. The, we haven't had to, this is like we maybe nobody one. be shooting so shit like this is like maybe the first or second time like we have like loud neighbors since we moved here that is like the only good thing about this place ain't nobody shooting is, ain't nobody kids. arguing right outside the door like literally right outside <laughs> of our door or fighting in front of the goddamn yeah, apartment or man. just having conversations in front of the window nothing just like no one's like right here, and then they be getting mad at you, like that dude who got kicked out. Like nigga, get from in front of my goddamn like, yeah, window. Right. This bitch not coming back to get you. Talking loud as hell. I give I give the apartment that. 
And yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not it's not even because of the gate. It's just that's just how it is. <laughs> it's the gate. The gate ain't even closed. Yeah. Cause I went through it and it wasn't even closed. They be closing that shit at random times. Well, I was like, cause I was like, damn, they need to put lights on that bitch. That's why people keep running over it because they're not used to it being here. But anyway, I'm sorry. That was just loud and it was throwing me off because I couldn't concentrate on what you were saying. But yeah, no, it's just like people who people defending it saying it's like, oh, it's, they always talk about like, let's just let just let people be free and just have have fun. It's like, well. This is why our fucking people get looked at the way Real, that we look, do. Bring back shame. You, yeah, it's like, you ain't yeah. gotta be ashamed. Like if you had to sell pussy to take care of your kids, don't. Be but if you just out here popping pussy and putting a firecracker in your ass just to do it, be ashamed. Like it's, I don't know how to say it, but it's just like you know it's all for be attention. aware. It's not. It's a. It's a major lack of self awareness. And one thing I realized, even dealing with heirs. This new generation doesn't follow context clues. So they have a lack of self-awareness and they can't because you, Ar- you, Aris will ask me some stuff and I'm like, context clues. Like she'll see me putting on my shoes and grabbing my key. Are you going somewhere? Do if you I work- saw my mama putting on her shoes, Do you work grabbing here? her purse and getting her keys, I, where are you going? I'm going to go to take a nap. What are you talking about? Right, or I'll be in here late. I'll be in here like one titty hanging out of a fucking muscle shirt, and she's like, "Are you asleep?" <laughs> That's that. That be that be pissing me off too. It's like when I tell her that you sleep and she's still busting here. I'm like, N- now you restarted her whole cycle. Now she got to do ten hours again. It's like, come on, <laughs> Shh, come on. You- oh, didn't it make me mad? Cause when people wake me up, especially when I'm real tired, I get mad. So then I gotta emotionally check myself and then go back to sleep, and then I gotta start. All over. And then it's not even like she busts in and acts something important. It's just like I'm hungry. It's like you could have figured that shit out yourself. I be or I'll be a dialysis. She be like, hey, um, the toilet not flush. <laughs> Figure so you, that shit out. So you walk past George in the living room. I, I, to come I, make sure I, I'm no, not in the room I think to that's, call me. Look, it's not that I'm an asshole. It's just like I, I'm very straightforward. It's like, and I no, think she don't want that. that. It's, it's not even that. It's just that she is so reliant on me. But my mama do that shit too. Like this morning, um, this hair too long. What are we supposed to do? It's twenty extra. Do you have twenty dollars? Yep. Pay the okay, $20. that that I don't understand. It's like if it's too long and it's hair, well, cut if it. you cut it, it was gonna cut off the color, and I was like. I hey, don't give a cut shit. Cut that shit off. <laughs> Fuck, $20. But it's just like sometimes, like my mama be wanting to, I don't care, she probably gonna hear this. My bad, it, it's the truth, my. So <laughs> it's like certain shit she wants to control, but then when it's other shit she don't want to do, she want to call me and be like, hey, so what? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And next week she been up, well, she was down here, so I need, no. Right. You wanted her there. They'll be like us taking puff for a week and then be like, hey, can you send some money for diapers? We know we're going to have them for a week. Right. That's part of the cause. Diapers and baby food. But. Like, shit. My mom be like, well, I spent? No. Mm-mm. But, yeah, that's that's part of going back to the whole child thing. It's just. They got that's, teachers that's why on th- TikTok crying. Yeah, they quitting and they talking about it. And- Yo, dude said this is my first year and my last year. Usually teachers burn out in 10 years. No. Because he was like, part of the problem is the kids, part of the problem is the parents, part of the problem is the administration. Right. And I'll agree with that. For the most part, I try, correct me if I'm wrong, I try to be an involved parent. I try to stay on top of stuff. I be sending out email. I email Aris teacher. Well, actually, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I email Aris teacher um, whenever they fucking, when they won the World Series or whatever, yeah. they had it down. I emailed her teacher the day before. He still has not emailed me back about her grades. Mm. I'm going to have to go up to that school. Even whenever um, Eris had a COVID restriction where she didn't go back to school, she had to do online school, she would submit her work and it would erase it and submit it blank. Because I noticed it did that several times. I would help her with her work. She would submit it and it would, for some reason, it was save beforehand, but it wouldn't save sometime when she did the work or it would just save part of the work. And instead of the teacher being like, hey, Blank work keeps coming and she was giving her zeros and shit. And then she's like, oh, well, if she corrects it or fills it and she can only get a 70. And like, I, the teacher, like, I was emailing this teacher, calling this teacher. I had this teacher when I was a kid. That's how I know her ass don't need to be there. She gonna call me talking about what's the problem? What the problem is? I heard you got a problem. I was like, bitch, I know you're not black, but that means you wanna fight me. She was so fucking scared of my mama, but like, she would not help me get Aaron's grades together. Right. I had to go to the superintendent. So, all of it is just not the parents, and all of it is just not the kids. 
It's just a combination of a bunch of stuff. Because I'm like this. I'm an involved parent. I show up to shit. Hey, we having this for the kids. Can we come to the... I'm showing up. So you should be more willing to help me than a motherfucker that don't never come. Or one to be like, oh, well, well my child don't want to sit there. She told you she didn't want to sit there. You shouldn't make her sit there as parent. Right. You know what I'm saying? The ones who defend their kid a little too much. Like, I'm trying to help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the, the whole defending the kid. Like, I get it. Cause sometimes a lot of teachers do be lying, but like you, you defend I to had, the point. I had teachers like that before. Just like, be mean for no fucking. But reason. you like you know how your kid is, and you just like ignore it. It's like my kid's never an asshole. My ever. kid never lied, bitch. Like, 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 if the, like teachers say like errors lied or something like that. I would kind of believe it. Like, <laughs> like or some shit like that. Like I'll be half and half. I got the like what? No, it depends on what the yeah. Lie like was. get the, what the context is. It's like okay. She said. She said she turned in her paper. She probably did. She said she wasn't talking. She was talking. She probably talking. She was talking. She was probably like she probably just taking her time. And yeah. then one teacher like she cussed. I was like, what word did she use? And she's like somewhere. I was like, that's not one of ours. If she would have said this or that, then yeah. So right. now nah, I don't think she did that one. But like, yeah. But the girl in the video was a 22 year old ballet teacher saying mm-hmm. that the five year old students were throwing things at each other, throwing things at her. They would not sit down. She would call the parents' parents like, "What well, they told you? They she didn't want to sit in that spot." Right. And then they were twerking. Um. Uh, by the way, before you, I'm a. Uh... I'm gonna try to edit in the the TikToks in between our conversations so you can hear the context context. yourself. But you go ahead. It's my phone. I was like, damn, did the thing die? It's an eBay notification. Oh, why the hell it sounds so sad? (laughs) But then um (laughs) she was talking about how the students were just like she busted out crying. Because the kids were disrespectful. She'd be like, I tell them to sit in their spot. They tell me no, they tell me to shut up. I'm like this. Let me be a thousand percent with you. Right. If your motherfucking um Come snatch your ass child. Tell me to shut up. I'd, I'd, I'll, n- I'll knock the shit out your fucking kid. Don't fucking play with me, nah, bitch. Like, I'm going I'm to come to the parent. I was like, hey. No, this- fuck that shit. Because I'm going to go ahead and fight your child so I can get ready to fight you. No. Nah. Well, uh, well, if you talk to... if you. Cause she said she talked to the parents and the parents don't give a, don't care. Oh, she told you and she didn't like, feel yeah, like she doing it. Like so doing why it. she why you trying to make her do it? I would. That would be it. That'd be like, all right. Well, your your kids out then. Cause I'm like this. Okay, so do they not listen at home? So if you tell them to clean up their room and they don't feel like cleaning up their room, do you make them clean up their room, or do you cuss them out, punch them in the back of their throat, and make them clean up their damn room? But like, but yeah, just being realistic. If the, if the parent don't even care, then you just you just make the moves to get the kid out of there. But let's just be realistic because that's a behavior that's going to get even more extreme. Yeah. In middle school, in high school, that's why these kids be trying to put their hands on these damn teachers. Now, the generation of teachers that come along is our age. Like, yeah. we're not finna play that shit. Right. But also, what's gonna happen when you at a job? Okay, here's Oh, your you don't want to do something. I don't want to take no calls today. Then why are you here? Because you work right. in a call center. I don't feel like dropping no fries. You a fry cook, so why right. are you here? Like, only God can judge me type shit. Hell no. And they say one reason kids act like that is because they all assume they're gonna be influencers. Yeah. That yeah, that's definitely not helping at all. Everybody want to be on Twitch. Everybody want to be TikTok famous and shit like that. Doing nothing really. I'm like Andre three thousand. Being famous is not good for a person because nobody should have that much admiration. He was saying Maybe, like it changes the way you think about yourself. I talked about it on the hooms, but uh, I was trying to be a bus driver yeah, like a couple months ago. Yeah, I and the, and the pay was gonna be pretty good. It was uh, like thirty two an hour. Wasn't no. It? It was like twenty four, twenty seven, something like that, right? Some even 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 with train, area. but like that's experience. But like uh, me being brand new, it would have been like twenty four or something like that. And and I cons- and I considered it, but then I, I considered like the the timing, the schedule, like so would that work with us? Because even with with good pay, it's still gonna be a pain in the ass if, if it's a morning shift or whatever. Yeah. Then I considered how many days of the week. And like I mean, don't I mean, even include like field trips. And no, I'm shit. talking. About, I'm talking about like how many days in the in the year. I mean, because it's like. Oh well, I, what's going to happen when it's during the summer or during the winter? Or, well, if you're like or, if you're a salary, then you just get paid through those times because it's a salary pay. But if it's hourly, but you would have to drive summer school and right. then you would have to drive like sports stuff too. Yeah, that to get, and you know extra money. Then I thought about like how often they're off. I'm like they then, a lot. Then I'm gonna be off, no money. So I'm like, yeah. So I thought about it, but then I thought about like just thinking about just situations. Like I just seen a video of a bus driver getting punched. But like a little middle schooler, schooler, Ooh. and I'm look. I, I'm look. My my anger issues is is pretty decent. I've been getting way better at it, but I don't think I could take that for too long. I'm like, you ain't gonna put your fucking hands on me, period. 
Like I, I try to think of like situation how I get out of it. If somebody, some kid put their hands on me, how would I? Cover their how would I? Wear your ass up. How would I do it? How would I con- con- uh, confront the parent or the, the school administrator? And I just kept going through loops and loops where they don't defend me at oh, all. Oh, what did you like, say to him to make him hit you? What you do to him? He ain't just gonna hit you. Like it's never gonna be on my side, even with the school. It's like you should have did this instead. It's like. So I'm just in my so I'm basically basically making myself panic. It's like damn. Let's be I'm real. A, like schools don't give a fuck about kids getting bullied. Now when it comes to adults, they probably don't give a shit about right. that either. It's like the administration be scared of these damn. Like kids. I damn near and I and I created the situation. I talked about it on hoops where I was like I damn near have to get stabbed by the kid for me to be able to well, put my no, hands on. Well, no, that woman that got shot, they trying to deny her lawsuit. That teacher, yeah, they got shot by that six year old. Yeah, okay, yeah, I saw they that. They trying to deny her lawsuit. Talking about, uh, um, yeah, it wasn't it like a fucking kindergarten or some shit like that, or like a, a second grader. Year. Yeah, and they said, um, getting shot at is part of the job. Excuse me. Yes. Show me. He talking about it's a job risk. Show me on the contract, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's like I be so close to want to just pull ass teaching and algebra, homeschool. calculus two, probably getting shot. In the, oh yeah. I be really want to pull her and do homeschool, but I'm like that. That'll That'd make it worse. Kill the social development too. But if we were to ever like accidentally get pregnant, that that little nigga going to RV homeschool. <laughs> they going to or some private school or something like that. Just the private schools ain't no better. I mean, it'd be with bullying. Better if they yeah. bullying would be still there, but it's like it'd be different. I don't know. I, I don't. Say, I, I don't, would say through kindergarten through elementary school, like elementary school, I could homeschool our baby. But middle school, you you gonna have to you got actually by fourth grade you got to go back to school. It's just a lot. It's a lot more than what my parent. What my I know my mom had to go through because I was I was chill. Even I was too, and I'm like, damn. Compared to, I was like, it's got to be her daddy and her coming out because I was like quiet. I like I was like, I was well not you know super quiet, but I was just chill. Yeah. It was chill to the point I was suffering with depression and falling asleep in the bathtub and nobody noticed shit. Right. You know, I was out the way. I wasn't a problem. I almost drowned right. several times in my sleep in the tub, but you know that I th- <laughs> you know. That, I tell you that I, I was like so much of a not problem child that they when forgot I forgot about your no no that that when I finally did get into a fight that the teachers my mom everybody was on my side like they was like yeah he went off he I was just cursing my ass off I'm like I fucking finally snapped and they was like, like yeah like the it. kid deserved it like it'd be, it be like, <laughs> that. like yeah he 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 because he never does it he does his work uh, he's one of my favorite students so uh, the kid kind of deserved it but we only we only got you in this meeting because, because we kind of have, have to because we have to yeah but I was kind of like that too like I was. Like, I didn't start cussing till middle school. Everybody else was, like, cussing their ass. I'm like, I was 14. And I just went off one day and started cussing motherfuckers. I was like, why do y'all keep fucking with me? I just came right. to this motherfucker to do my work and then take my ass home. Y'all don't like me. I don't like y'all. Will y'all please leave me the fuck alone? Oh, you can cuss? Yes, bitch. Leave me the fuck alone. Right. Like, God damn. Like, Fuck, nigga. I have uh, to be here because the government says I do. Shit. So, okay, if you made it this far, uh, I'm, I'll probably edit this and put it in, like, the be- beginning of before this conversation. If you if you read, you saw the TikToks and you want to see it yourself, you have a comment on it, you're a teacher yourself, please uh, send an email to theblurredspod at gmail.com. And if you work at a school or work with children, we will gladly keep you anonymous because we understand yeah. this is not Fort Worth Watch Dogs Facebook right. group or some shit like that. Right. Um, um we'll just send a voicemail, record it on your phone, send it to the email or uh call the phone number, call the voicemail, seven two five nine 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 two seven zero four. But yeah, it's just it's scary. I don't know what to do. I know one thing, when I get old, if I had to go to a nurse, I'm not doing it. Aquafina and bubbles not taking care of my ass and come on, didn't you used but, to track the back that thing up when you was young? Come on, residents. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, okay. But going back to the the comment about like not doing stuff because you don't want to be told what to do it's like and then parents defending but you have to but have then, dire- let me tell you something one thing that people used to say when i was a child you cannot lead if you have the inability to follow right oh that's the dishwasher yeah no, i, I like, thought that was a win i'm like, like i thought that was a win outside uh but no it's like uh they no the, the parents will defend the kid not doing that it's like it's give them freedom whatever like no that's a skill it's like you're not being a follower for listening to your teacher or listening to your boss. It's like that's a fucking skill you for have the life. Ability to be coachable and be teachable. That, that's why at Amazon they hired all these like younger people and they fucking suck. 
They fucking suck. They just here. Yeah, obviously for the check. I'm here for the check too. But it's like we here for the ten hours. Just be here. Do your well, job. I notice like even with younger relatives, my they'll get a job and they'll quit that bitch. Quit. And then they'll find them so quick. Oh, I didn't like standing that long. Oh, I didn't like da 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 da. Oh, I didn't want to do this. They added this to my job. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Right. And it's one not, thing to be at paying. a job for a long time and not and get then, the respect and quit. Right. But you was there for two a and week. a half week. You a got week. a paycheck. Right. I, I didn't want to. I didn't wash. I ain't cleaning. I ain't sweeping. I'm going to quit. Ooh, Which you, you know, you know what's crazy? empty out the grease. Which I, this isn't something like I learned or something like that, but I just got reminded. Like, like say back in the like 50s, 60s, remember like the the real point of like resumes and jobs look at it and be like, why did you quit this one job? And they'll think you're like a fucking well, bum. Well, no, because people used to retire from, think yeah, about from it. Yeah, from one job. Think, think about it. Like people's grandparents will work at, say you work for GMC. Your granddaddy would retire from the GMC factory. Right. Your grandfather would retire from the Ford factory. Your grandfather was a janitor yeah. for 32 he, years, he never there. showed a leg. Or he worked for the post office, never missed yeah. a day. It was always one job. And they, they, they just took it really seriously back then. Even if you just left one job, it's like, are you are you gonna leave leave us too? And like like now, I like I got like twelve different jobs on my resume. Mm -hmm. Like they don't they don't even look at that shit. They don't even question it. Because back then it'd be like, so why did you leave uh, this factory? Well, they shut down. They yeah. asked, okay, so all right, you can go. They came like, well, shit, I didn't want to come in one day. Yeah. I ain't like it. I just quit. Right. And especially if your ass was black, you was already struggling to get mm -hmm. into mediocre positions. Your ass got a whole fucking degree in physics, but now they're like, well, we need somebody wow. in the cafeteria. You know how to fry fish, boy? Right. It was I'm a mess. Sorry if I'm breathing in the mic. I'm trying to like move, move it out the way while I want to do that. Hey, we think. Because sometimes, no, cause sometimes I'd be like lost in thought and just be like. <laughs> and I, then I got to listen to it again. I'm like, damn, why am I breathing so fucking hard? <laughs> God damn. But no, I'm just saying, it's like, it's a it's a real problem. It, it certainly, it, it is a real problem. It's like, I was a young mother. Yeah. I had my daughter when I was 20 years old. Right. Like, she might, li her favorite, one at one point her favorite song was Screaming Shy by, by Britney Spears. Or she would listen to um black and yellow type shit. But yeah. I was not letting my kid listen to, like, crazy shit. Was she dancing around? Like, was she running around? Was she screaming lyrics and shit? Yeah, but it wasn't just, like, outrageous. Yeah, it wasn't crazy. Like, like a lot of, lot of people on Twitter, like, they bring up, like, oh, we attack the the lady rappers for talking about all this stuff but not the male rappers and like yeah to a point that's true but be real like say the sexy red stuff that's really explicit yeah. for for the dumb um, the kids that it's that is like attaching to it's really explicit like you can get away with the whole wop stuff from a few years ago a little bit is like yeah you're you're parenting but this the sexy See, red I think stuff WAP was a lot for kids yo too. yo it is but to a point that was like at the very I want to say the very end of like the whole yeah it's, it's the parents' fault. My like, home girl said she walked in on her granddaughter's home with my pussy pink, my booty hole brown. Yeah, her. she said she tried to beat the brakes off of her. It's just, it's just. And then look, the the sexual assault rates in our community are already disproportionate. And then you're putting these little girls look, right yeah, now. Little girls, it's, it's Thanksgiving. Somebody's five year old little girl is in the living room. Probably bent over, shaking her ass right in now front in front of, of that one uncle that is not even supposed to be around kids. And all the family. Talk about and all the family. Everybody know he's a fucking pervert. And all the family just laughing it off. Like, ha ha, look, look at her. Right. And then her everybody doing a know that dance. is weird. And y'all letting y'all kids do that in front of that weird nigga that ain't even supposed to be there. He, he, he should be locked the, the fuck up he right in the fucking, He in the fucking corner on the chair. Not laughing like everybody else. Just like, just like, yeah. With his hand in his damn pocket being a nasty Look at Look at little Tisha or whatever. I'm like... <laughs> because like black girls get sexually assaulted at a higher rate because yeah. first of all we not even really seen as kids mm. like that's why i be trying to tell Aris, look you you 13 but people gonna see you as an adult because you are a black woman they're gonna and you're i try a black to, female they're gonna think you a goddamn threat and that's why i kind of like talk to her the way that i do because i'm like you you this is how it's gonna be this is you got to grow up now it's like you're older yeah yeah it's a 13 but yeah. it's a whole different world now be 14 next month oh yeah all right it's a whole different world. So I'll talk to you a certain way. I'm not going to treat you like the kid that you still want to kind of be, but at the same time, not want to be, you know? Yeah, but like she at that age too where she kind of teeter tot. Like I noticed like with their generation, they kind of teeter totter between stuff because like if you look, her and her friends will bust out and be watching goddamn Paw Patrol. Yeah. 
Yeah. And just like having that moment. And I was like, I don't want to discourage that because I'd rather have my 13 year old watching Paw Patrol than her ass being then, my age sitting up here watching Paw Patrol shit. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes a bitch want to watch Scooby Doo and no, shit. It, but it, you know. No, it's. You know, it's those moments, but like she's still a kid. Yeah, like, no, and I and I that weird part. And I know I said what I said, but I'm like, yeah, if you you get you do kid stuff, do kid stuff. But I feel but like, like you kind of like your parenting style is more of that kind of because the way you're like you, I feel like the way you describe your parents is independent, no nonsense type of people. And right. then with you being a guy, y'all, you probably didn't get that softer end of it. But sometimes I try to go a little softer on her because I remember people kind of going harder on me yeah. for no fucking reason and that shit kind of you know they give you a complex a little bit right because i still have moments where i just be like damn i'm but not I'm, good enough i'm not doing this right i'm not da 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 da. i don't know this shit and it's like i'll be hearing people in the back of my head and i'm yeah. like i can't wait till you die so i can piss on your grave so <laughs> and by the way people who like who don't know us personally when we when you say i'm go i'll go hard as a parent it's i'm not like it's not I'm like not being me he's just very stern yeah i'm and very straightforward straight it's like okay like if if I if I if you if I don't want you to have something like you say if you ask someone I'm gonna be like no, no. and you be like come on I'm like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the whole like begging shit it's like I said no it's like leave me alone you be doing me like this I like <laughs> you like Judah I'm like because I I don't know I just I don't like it's, I like I don't like repeating myself kind of I don't just start staring at her like when I say no I like, just start doing this shit because I'm telling I'm telling you to start doing that too to start just saying no it's like oh, she, no, I don't she even, gotta I say it one and then I just stare at her. And then she'd be like, and then she'll just finally walk off. But what is the master plan of t- I mean, teaching kids? It's it's so different. Oh, too many. We got too many people. Let me let me be real. Let's if just take I a could, break. If we could just find us a nice little piece of property up here that's kind of like where I grew up, kind of like adjacent to mm. the like not just the woods, but like just own property, and then we could just drive into the city when we want it. That would be fucking nice. Right. Like I want it to be like secluded enough I can walk around my yard butt naked and I have nobody call the police and then I can just oh let's go into the city and get tacos or go walk around some shit. But yeah. I grew up isolated as fuck from people. Like I was literally the only child in my community full time. So Man. I be sometimes I be longing for that solitude again. Yeah, who you telling? Because I grew up I grew up like that. It gave me the benefit of being like okay I can decompress and I be around people. But it also made me socially awkward. Can you imagine how crazy shit is now for a socially awkward kid? Like, when I was a kid, I was socially awkward because I liked anime. I'd rather be in the corner reading. I wasn't going, hanging out, doing all this shit. Now, they seem like the anime avoiding type of shit is the norm. So, like, what? Ooh, speaking what is of a that, socially awkward kid now? Speaking of that... Uh, what what are they called? Um, I don't want to pause it because I feel I think that's the reason why. It kind of messed up because I kept pausing it. But is it? I think it's called a neat or a need. Is it like one of those uh, Japanese recluse? One of the ones that like like stay in their stay house and that's it. They never leave. They don't have a job. But Damn. somebody somebody's still financing it somehow. Like usually it's like a younger and their parents are still paying for their apartment but they don't they never leave the house they just get like some ramen noodles or whatever come into the house and watch anime all day or read manga and that's it and i'm like that's straight up otaku that's like a new like it's super otaku let me see let me, let me see while i'm doing it live what 40 minutes i might edit it out i ain't, i'm not pausing it but you mean like them people that be in goddamn internet cafes they used to be at their house yeah. at the cafe yeah and, and they, they don't like do super shit, weird play fucking video games so i guess that would be the new socially awkward person it's like being so enveloped in anime and games that you can't have any social life. Neat. Neat? Neat? I think it's a neat. Yeah, it's a neat. N-E-E-T. What the hell does that stand for? I don't know what it... But usually when it, when I see it, it's like some, most likely a Japanese person or Chinese person and they, they fucking house look like shit. Ew! And it's like, all they do is watch anime and... They don't clean up. They don't like doing chores. They don't like doing they nothing. They got a shit other than neat because that's nasty. No. You too lazy to flush the toilet? Oh, my God. I'm going to save this video. I'm going to put it in the description as well so you can see what I mean by what a, what a neat is. Or you get, or if you're on TikTok or YouTube, just N-E-E-T, you'll see what I, see what I mean. They just kind of like, I'm kind of jealous of it. 
Let me uh-huh. tell you something. When I turned 18, my mama threw me off her phone playing like paper. Your own shit. Yeah, nigga, I threw myself out. <laughs> Like it's seventeen. I, got, I started college at seventeen, so she was yeah, weird. Cause so, I could I could be in college, but I couldn't legally like have credit cards and yeah. shit until like a month later. And my mom's like, "Hey, get your own fucking phone plan." Yeah, I, like, I got my own damn. place. <laughs> but my niece, my niece, her mama still helping her pay for shit. I was like, "Bitch, do you understand how lucky yeah, you are?" Like, and kind of you like you, they won't notice that they kind of fucked it over. Kind of like okay, neat means not in education, employment, or training. That's way more t- technical than I thought it'd be. Yeah, not in education, employment, or training. Yeah. So that I mean your ass is it's all unemployed. Fucking bu- a bum, and usually these people are getting financed by like their parents or something like that. Which I'm like, they say there's over 100 of them in Britain. Britain, I mean, from the ages of 16 to 24. I mean, 16 makes sense. Like <laughs> being a bum at 16 is not really you're just a child. There are 4.6 in America. Four point six million. Oh, I thought you just four or six. No, four point six million number. in America. Are they counting just like people on the street? In general, and like, then what about Japan? Like how many see. in Japan, or like in that area? Let me see. The neats are called Hikiki Omori. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's more than that because that's the only textiles I see are from like people of Asian origin. Okay, and that was the first one that came up. But anyway, yeah, I watched that and just like, you just go to work and you pay 64, bills. 64,000. Okay, it estimates the needs in Japan is 640,000. And whatever the fuck a freeder is, it what the hell is that? I think the number's wrong. There are more than 500,000 Japanese who are classified as neat. That seems a little low. Um, as of September of 2023, hmm. 520,000. I don't think all of them are reporting it. <laughs> in America, we just kind of... So oh, based it on unemployment. Yeah. Oh, you got a roommate? Oh, you're neat or some bullshit. <laughs> but no, I, I look at this stuff. I'm like, for a second, I'm like, besides the trash, like if somebody was financing me to just be in my fucking house by myself, mm-hmm. that would be beautiful. But no. If somebody was financing me and I had the time, I would actually try to revise my book and just like chill because like i would just have to be able to do home dialysis if i didn't have to leave the house they it got to be some like some like really deep mental stuff to where you just don't want to do shit like nothing at all well i mean think about it okay so our generation our generation we were on the ass end of hey we can do whatever just go to college and you had a life you want and imagine these motherfuckers being born after like 9-11 9-11 and it's just like hey war hey go to college you can't afford to pay it back you can't afford a house you can't afford a car but keep trying that see keep that fucking trying it would have been uh, nice to know like going into college like at least they have the knowledge of like before they you choose be like oh they, this our generation might not mean anything graduating it was like hey we don't have jobs for y'all like but y'all still gotta pay but, back this ninety three thousand dollars yeah but before when they tried to advertise it to us they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you had to do was go to college and then jobs just kind of blah, blah. Hey, young lady, if you go to college, you're going to find a husband. You're going to get a degree. You'll have a house with a if picket not, fence if with not, two and a half kids and a dog. If not, you'd be a bum. A bum on the street. Asking for change. See that guy over there? That's you. You know the crazy thing? Even if I was able to work a full-time job and we were both working a full-time job, we would still be fucked. We wouldn't be as fucked, but we would still be financially fucked with the way shit is going. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like at some point, I feel like the only way I'm gonna have certain shit is somebody just die and leave it to me. Yeah, I ain't got nobody like that. I don't need. I got my my second oldest sister's dad, who's got got, got some money. But that's nowhere gonna kill me right. <laughs> unless I kill everybody in there. <laughs> All right, Cleopatra, just I'm gonna kill everybody and take care of things. Oh, you get this me money by default. You're Sixteen crazy. people in front of you die <laughs> mysteriously. But, like, what's crazy is, like, I really, like, because I guess we're back on the house journey again. Do we want to talk about that? Sure. I guess we ended off there. And I guess we can do, like, a 10 minutes bonus for, like, the, the Xmas movie. Oh, God. Yeah. That corny shit. Uh, but, yeah, the house market again. Okay, so I was, I don't know, because every once in a while I go on Zillow because I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I don't fucking know why. Dreams are expensive. So yeah. I found a house close to 
um, George's job. It was like 158000 which I was like, oh, that's cheap as fuck. Now it's up to like 180 something. But I'm like, nah, bitch, when I saw this shit, it, no, y'all got to fucking work with this. Um, A part of me is like, okay, it's a house and it would be ours and we could modify it. But then a part of me is like, damn, it's not as nice a house as I wanted to start with. But let's just be realistic. What they used to say back in the day, get what you get and don't throw a fit. Yeah. I think that's that's really it's a decent house. I can already tell it needs some work. It was built in the seventies, so it has like real hardwood floors and right. shit, which I love. And other people's furniture in it. Oh no, all that shit gotta go. <laughs> but no, somebody bought a house over in this area and it had over two hundred books in it. And they just had the shit piled up in the living room. They're like, hey, it's for free. Whatever y'all don't come get, we're going to throw away. It was literally like 200. Oh, like, I could smell the oldness of the books through the picture. Right. I'm like, who the fuck just leaves okay, I 200 just, books? I'm on Zillow right now. And why they got a picture of, of the house? And it looked like a... No, uh, I thought the mailbox was like an old couch. Because how, 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 how it was angled. Oh, that must be a new picture. Yeah. But this house looked like an old church for some reason. But what's crazy, like, I found another house in there for 79000 I was like, this has got to be a trailer. And they were hiding the damn picture so bad that it was a trailer. You had to... Why is that face? Okay. You had to scroll all the way to the... I'm scared. Let me see. <laughs> all right, you can scroll. All right, so okay, how, what, what I saw in the house, I saw it for like 150 close right right here. First of all, I don't even like And then the... keep scrolling. One, you see, like, the paint... What it's like f- yellow next to the door. That's and cigarette then, smoke. And then you okay, so I'm like, okay, that's okay, that's bad. First of all, and that's then, the kids' room that has go, cigarette smoke. And then you go to the next one, the fucking roof is peeling. Like the whole roof is peeling. The floor is warped. This yeah. is flood damage. Yeah, what the fuck? This why house is it why is hundred and fifty K? This house is flooded. That's yeah. flood damage. This is literally it a like flipper. goddamn horror house. Hundred fifty K, please. There's just a hole in that. Who the fuck? I knew it was kind of suspicious just how like how it's laid out, like how the They got a real curtain as a shower curtain. <laughs> George. That was by accident too, Jesus Christ. Oh, I know his body's under this bitch. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. That's down the street. I yeah. ain't never seen that damn house. What the fuck? This was the one I was talking about. Yeah, I know that one, yeah. Because, I mean, this house is fixable. I just want to see what neighborhood it looks like. And the thing about it is, if we pull up the carpet, it's a wood floor. Right. All we would need is, you know, and it, it definitely needs some paint. Like, them shutters, them shutters got to go. It's been on the market for so long, but I feel like if it's on there in the winter, it'll drop a little more. And we can be like, hey, bitch. Right. But, yeah, we definitely got to get some paint and shit. God, that's scary. That, my damn stomach hurt after looking at that shit. That reminds me of that TikTok you showed me. Which one? With the lady going to, recording her going to like a, a oh rental, my God. rental tour. <laughs> she was like, we came to the door and the roaches. And, the roaches and, greeted us yeah. and somebody's living under the steps. All right. And okay, this place is so bad. Uh, we I know we talked about ours where it's like, oh, it was like a bunch of trash outside. But this one. They couldn't show the one that they wanted to, the one that was actually clean, because they lost the keys. So they showed. Wait, one. they went and knocked on a door, and it, somebody yeah, was in that apartment. One. Yeah, the first one was somebody. Somebody was living there. She how was you, like, she was, f- she was complaining, like you ain't fixed that. Da, 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 da. And you, how you fucking forget somebody? You lived, but anyway, they go to the second one. Somebody had just moved out, and not just moved out. They just Bro, left. It's they bad. left. They left. It's like they like. It's beds. It's clothes. It's diapers. It's like, like they got the call that the police was coming to raid their house. So they like fuck, grab whatever. And it's like <laughs> so. It's a mess. Fucking trash everywhere. Uh, like you just said, I'm repeating. But it was it was a mess. Then then, then the baby picked up the toy yeah. off the floor. She's like, no. Yeah! <laughs> She's like, no. And then, uh, then they found the keys all of a sudden, and they should have showed the one that was actually clean. But it, oh, it was bad. But I would have been pissed if I you showed me the clean one, and then I find out about the second one and the third one. I'm like, oh my god, bro, it was, mm mm, mm And then somebody's Bible did, and they purse and shit was up under the steps. Did they um, did the maintenance guy that came? Did he tell say anything about the the guys upstairs about like bugs or anything? He probably didn't. Mm-mm. 
He was supposed to do that. That was the one job. I didn't give a fuck about the leaks. I just wanted to know. That nigga was too excited to be in yeah, all Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. Like, check this out before we leave. Okay. Uh, maintenance you guy. just came 15 minutes early when you was here. I would have probably been late. Yeah. But, I would have let you handle it. Okay, as I, as I was leaving go to work uh, yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I walked right past the maintenance guy. I didn't think he was coming to my place. And he came in and... Cause, Cause, we got a bunch of leaks from the rain from like a month ago. So and they were supposed to send contracts. Yeah, a month ago never came. This shit musty, bro. So leaks in your ceiling smell like mildew. And the only reason we called again because there was a leak coming out of one of the uh uh electrical the, the, yeah electrical stock. So he's like, hey, okay, that's important. So he come to check that. Uh, as I I just left, right? I mean, I'm still in the parking lot when you called t- told me about it. And he, what do you, what do you say? What do you like pointing out? Um, no, like he. Well, when he went to check, like, he checked this, it was fine. But when he went to check the lease in there, he, the game systems caught his attention. Yeah. And it was, like, my games, to be specific. And he, and he was it was like, my Sega Genesis, my Nintendo 64. And he was like, what's this? I was like, this is a PlayStation 2. And this would be, and I saw, I kind of glimpsed him when he when I walked past him. Kind of a rough he looking. He didn't even say shit about the fucking Xbox One, which I was like, okay. Mm. But he was like, oh, the old games, you have games, and did you have to blow the cartridges? This one got a face tattoo. Yeah, he just a little, off. not to judge a book by his cover, but your cover is a little rough, buddy. Nah. It's like, and he's like, like not just, well, how you texting me anyway? He seemed a little too excited about it. So I'm like, oh, that's. He's like, if I come knock on y'all, don't know when I come, don't do that. Uh-uh. No, I'm. Now I was like joking earlier, but I'm serious. We gotta let legit get his name before. <laughs> Probably like, oh, he was so helpful. What's he was, that young man? Well, name? I just want to thank him. Just, yeah, just the young just, one with, you know, the, with the tattoo. Yeah, uh, we already got cameras in the house now, but still, it wouldn't hurt to get his name just in case. Right. Suspect number one, just for being excited. And then, <laughs> don't be excited, there, media. I don't trust you no more. You crazy? I don't like this house. That's too much. Which means too much. I don't know. The price is dropping. Once it get cold, it's gonna drop some more. What about like five thousand? Nigga, we never know. It already dropped by fifteen. It dropped nah. a little. Well, the housing market we were talking about start that. crashing. So. Yeah, you, we we were talking about that too. Uh, we were talking to the real estate, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm so fucking lost. They, Basically, they just they gave me. Build our it was up. just so much mumbo jumbo mumbo. House buying jumbo bullshit. I could tell and you dissociated because because look all I, all I can hear how how no matter what the fuck they was explaining how much money you make yeah all I, all I can hear I was say. oh this is ways that we're gonna get paid out of this and all I can think was why the fuck do I have to pay you like that's all I can think is like because because he said the down payment the original down payment for the place for me to just get in there it was like three thousand or something then he's like then he added like ten thousand he's like this is this is for us I'm like. No, why the fuck am I paying? Who are you? Like, who are you, motherfucker? No, we didn't even do that shit. Oh, and, like, and I don't get paid until the end. I'm like, no, the only person I'm paying is the realtor because she actually gonna be doing the work. But really, they just supposed to help you prepare, repay your credit. I know he, how to do that. He definitely so. didn't make me feel any better about like the process. I'm we like, all, all, we, I, all I hear honestly, is money. That's just to repair your credit. We didn't got to deal with them. If we just sit down at the beginning of the year and look, hey, this is what we owe here, that, and the other, and we get that shit down, it'll bounce our credit up, and that's really all we need. It's just somebody trying to outsource. Hey, my friends, do I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't. I, I don't give a fuck. We still, well, she still didn't. Even with her explaining, I still don't really understand. Like, oh, oh, I get paid for house, showing. I'm gonna get paid out of for whatever, showing you whatever we pay. For the house, her fee comes out of that. Yeah. So it's not directly and out of her pocket. I, l- I love how it. she try to explain, like, "Oh, I'm here to make sure y'all don't get uh, screwed on." Like, is that is that right? He's like, because <laughs> they just have to set up <laughs> different right? stuff. Because like, when you get a house, you have to have somebody. Is that what you do? Is, is that is that your job to make sure I don't get scammed? Huh? Like, I'm I'm not paying too much. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I, I hate salespeople. I fucking hate them. Cause I mean, like, if we could just find a house, and we knew somebody that was gonna sell their house. Like, hey, I, I'm on the run for the law. I need to sell this house real quick. We got right. you. But like, or some old person who's about to die, and we make friends with them. They ain't got no adult children, right? Nobody. They don't trust nobody. But we come in, like, hey, Bertha, Granite, whatever, right? She's like, well, I'm gonna leave it this house to you. Yeah. Try I not wish. make her sign some papers. And then we like murder her. Die in the house, right? Don't you want to die standing at the? I like I like standing behind her while she signed the paper, and then I snap her neck. 
<laughs> don't you want to die in the park where you used to feed the pigeons with your grandchildren? That do sound nice. Yeah, sure do. Cause I ain't got time for you to be popping up at three o'clock in the morning talking about hello. The no, bread bitch. strangler. <laughs> I don't know. I think just like I be like sometimes I be I don't know. I feel mad sometimes and I feel sad sometimes too because like I'll be online and I see some of my classmates. Some of them I just love to see. Oh, they got married. They bought a house. They have kids. They doing good. And then some of them I'll be like, how the fuck did you get a house? Right. And I'll be like, nigga, I just, no. But it's just some, like, I mean, I'll be feeling like. Sometimes that's all they doing though. Yeah. That's They just work to get that. Think about buying a house and I was thinking, you know how cheap that shit would be. Yeah. But like, like if you really break down anything, sometimes that's all you do, and that's all you like. Yeah, they making good money, but they not doing shit else. It's like, yeah, we might not have much money, but we also doing like sixteen other things at the same time. It's like, I mean, you gotta take whatever makes you happy at the end of the day. It's just yeah, I just like I just want to be able to settle down because I feel like I've been doing a lot of moving lately. I just want to stay in this area. It's gonna work out. It's got to because shit, nigga. I'm just, I'm just like this, like, bro. We in this together, like, nigga. Like, we ever break up, we better be roommates. Shit, we in this shit together forever. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. we can we can bring in two people, bring in two more people, and then they bring in their income. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut the shit in half. Is this poly? No, it's convenient. Uh, no, no, we we broke up. A wink, and just you you get a guy with money. I find a girl on OnlyFans, and then we just like. Accumulate all that money together, yeah. Lord. So be the Polly Pocket family. Yeah, Ooh. it's like a Mexican. But they can't have no kids because the move ain't gonna go for this shit. Like a Mexican orgy, but it's like saving money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, now you get only fan bitch, and you gonna have to be in cousin because you know they be. I'm, I'm be I'm be director. That's the only way. For real. I'm be able, I'm, I already edit shit. I might as well. Be like, why y'all still sleeping around together? I don't know. Just because this bed works. Because yeah, I'm fucking still paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in some fucking money. I won't have to sleep in here. <laughs> it's fucking get, like he's so abusive. Like why? Why do y'all be locking the door? Because you know you niggas nosy shit. We be trying to sleep. But your parents just say we just talking. We, we paying bills. <laughs> we doing taxes. Y'all sleep in the living room on the couch. Don't touch each other. All right. Y'all don't. Y'all not together. Y'all y'all with us. That's funny. That's fucked up. There's probably two dumbasses in the world we can really do that with. I ain't manipulate the motherfucker. <laughs> Karma, though. Because it's pretty and dumb. You just get them, and there you go. All right. We're going to be red dead up here villains and shit. Hey, whatever. Hey, look, we tried for fucking 30 years to be decent people. Fuck it. Now, now, we're, now we're villains. And you know that make me mad because I'm like, I feel like it's a lot of good people out here not doing shit, but this motherfuckers out here being selfish and shit. Getting world. everything. Fucking everything. Nigga, we didn't even talk about the Matt Wright shit. What is there to say? <laughs> what is there to say? This nigga said, I don't uh, want to be a white coming in black I know, rooms, and like, I don't want to be a sexy coming okay, with female I, fans. I know we just said we're going to end it with the other one. Um, Look, we can make it a bonus bonus. So go ahead and do the end, right. and then we're going to do the... All right. So... Again, if you got any uh, comments about like parenting or whatever we talked about today, oh, please Patreon, uh, Patreon, uh, Patreon dot com slash regular ass podcast. You want to support the show? That's for a dollar a month, or you can buy some merch because I, I forgot I had merch. I done sold t shirts. Yeah, we get some pictures. We'll post it up so you can whatever. Um, Patreon dot com slash regular ass podcast. A uh, dollar a month support us. Right now, all the shows, are, even the casual enjoyer, is just going to be, I'm just going to post them, whatever. It's just like, um, you got comments on what we said today? Email the show, theblurredspod at gmail.com, T-H-E-B-L-E-R-D-Z pod at gmail.com. Or send a voicemail, 725-999-2704. Or a text. Uh, it'll be all in the description if you didn't catch all that. Uh, but yeah, see y'all later. And... Deuces.